Alrighty, hello everyone. So, I wanted to do a bit of a refresh on my original Mario 64 decomp tutorial. Because, I don't know, just felt like it. So, to lead the original video, and I'm posting this one up. And this is for everyone out there who doesn't feel like reading the written guide of the Hacker SM64 site. So, I'm going to translate in to video form for you so you can get this done easier. Alrighty, let's start off. Um, we're going to start off with installing something called the Windows Subsystem for Linux, which basically just takes a Linux based terminal and puts it in Windows. Now, first thing you want to do is go in your little search bar here. And you want to type in, you want to type in, enable. Actually, so not not. Ugh, sorry. Um. You want to type in, Windows features. Turn Windows features on and off. And you want to enable Windows Subsystem for Linux. I already have that enabled. But once you enable that, it may ask you to restart. Um, I highly recommend restarting because that's how you get everything to work. And then after that, you want to go into the Microsoft Store and install Ubuntu. And you'll have this terminal here. right? And this is what we're going to be doing to handle our whole project. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is... In like the default directory here... We want to install some packages to get the whole decomp to run and get it all working. So since we're in U since we're in a Ubuntu terminal, we copy paste this command, which will be in the description below by right clicking. Oh, sorry. Let me try that again. There we go. Oh, bam. And then we enter, we enter our password. And we have all the packages we need installed. Alrighty, so now we're going to be getting to the good part here. And we're actually going to be setting up our hack repository. Now... Keep in mind, you will need a Super Mario 64.z64 ROM. I believe you have to have the US version. But it may depend. I think you're able to use all versions, though. So, let's set up our folder with our hack in it. Now, I'm going to mount to my other hard drive by doing cd slash mnt slash d and then we are going to run this command and replace name of project with well the name of your project so i'm just going to call it tutorial so it's just cloning into tutorial we wait for it to be done Takes a little while. I'll come back to you guys when this is all done. Alrighty, so it should keep it like this. It should have no errors when you're cloning it. If it does, maybe check your internet connection. And now since we have that cloned into here, if we do ls, you'll see that we have tutorial right here. Now, obviously it'll depend on the directory you cloned it in, but mine is in my D drive. So I'm going to type in CD tutorial, where you can replace tutorial with the name of your project, and you'll be in the folder now. All right, so after that, you want to go into your hack directory and put in your us or whatever region rom you have so you're going to call it base rom dot your region minus us dot z64 make sure yours is a z64 file extension i cannot provide that file for you 
because that is a game ROM and it is illegal to produce those. So you're going to have to dump your own ROM or find one off the internet. Either way, once you have that in there, you wanna go back in here and all you have to do now is do make minus J and however many cores your CPU has, which you don't even need to type that in. We could just do make. And I'll get back to you when this is done. All right. So once you've done that, you should get the build succeeded text. If you don't, you can always check the hacker SM64 wiki to troubleshoot it. And if you still can't find an answer, try leaving a comment down in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you. Um, now, the amount of time it takes here to compile depends on your computer speed. It took me around one to two minutes. And when you're compiling it a second time, it only changes the, it only compiles the changes you made. So it's not gonna compile the whole thing again. It's not gonna take one to two minutes every time. It's only going to compile the things you've changed in the code. But either way, if you check your folder again, you'll see in the build folder, US N64 or whatever your region is, you'll see your ROM here. That is your build ROM. That is the output ROM that you get. And then you could just run it through an emulator and you'll have your hack set up and then you can change whatever you want. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you can continue on your hack journey. Maybe watch some other videos I have. Thank you. Bye.